When we think about public debt, we might think about a large amount of debt that a country has borrowed. That number is the stock of debt. It tells us how much debt has been borrowed over time and give us an amount of debt outstanding at a specific point in time. The size of the debt stock is determined by decision to borrow new debt and to repay old debt as it comes due. These debt flows, that is borrowing and repayment of debt, which happen over time, cause the stock of debt to either grow or to shrink. Typically, the stock of debt grows over time as new borrowing is undertaken to finance the fiscal deficit and to repay all debt. However, we often look at debt as a share of GDP to measure its burden in terms of a country's economic output. While the stock may grow in nominal terms, it may remain constant as a share of GDP if the economy is growing. To understand the stock and flow relationship a bit better, let's work with a simplified example. We are going to use a few concepts. The first is revenues, that is income to a government, which includes taxes. Next is expenditures, the money that a government spends. And the third concept is the difference between revenue and expenditure called the primary deficit. We will add debt interest payment and any material debt to the primary deficit to work out the amount of debt we are going to borrow in a year called the gross financing need. In year zero, the country of Ethiopia has never borrowed and has a debt stock of zero. However, it expects that during the year that expenditure will exceed revenue by 100 Ethiopian dollars. It therefore borrows $100 for five years at an interest rate of 5%. In year one, its debt stock is now 100 the flow of debt between year zero and one was 100 as it issued that amount of new debt. In year two, the primary deficit is 95 based on revenue and expenditures. Plus, there is now debt interest of five to pay. So, it issues another five-year bond of 100 at 5% interest rate, creating another new debt flow and increasing the stock to 200. We can follow this through each year, seeing how gross financing increases the debt stock. In year five, Ethiopia has the original debt that it borrowed in year zero to repay. As it has a primary deficit, for example, revenue is less than expenditure, it must borrow the 100 to repay the maturing bond. However, while gross financing in year five is 300, 100 of that is to repay all debt from year zero. So the debt stock increased by only 200. We therefore see that Utopia's debt flow from one year to the next is gross financing, less maturing debt. That is net new debt issue. In discussing the stock of debt and the debt flow from one period to the next, we have also covered a few additional concepts, the primary deficit, gross financing, and the rollover of maturing debt. This video is worth watching again to make sure that you have a good understanding of the interplay between this concept of debt flow, debt stock, debt interest, and the primary deficit. Music